Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over a hundred years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, Dad just sold the rest of his 2020 Durham crop. Yeah, you heard that right. In the words of Donald Trump, that crop was huge. So, I gotta get the conveyor set up. Trucks are coming, the elevator uh, kind of lined up the trucking since it's in the middle of harvest and I take the derm. So, let's go get this conveyor put underneath the hopper bin. There it is. Dad went to get combines going. Notice there's a fuel leak on a steel line on his combine and then they went to go start it to see if it was leaking and the battery blew up, which is a weird coincidence, but that's what happened. So. I gotta find a battery for his combine. And I think I found one. This water. And just like that, two batteries are moved. Well, that's the leaky exploded battery. I'm getting that one ready to put in. And uh, it's kind of weird. We did have a neighbor helping us custom cut one year. I guess we traded cutting. He helped us cut, we cut acres back for him. But his combine did the same thing. Battery popped on him and leaked acid everywhere. So. Hopefully, just a bad battery and something happened inside, shorted out. So, they're gonna do that. What'd you find? Corn. That's what happens when you get a combine to come out of corn country. Lots of corn. All right, I'm gonna go braze this steel line while well, they get batteries put in. Yeah, I'll tell you what, things zip tied to steel lines cause more problems. So, we'll get that brazed up. I'm done, are you done yet? He's just getting started. <laughs> well, there we go. I don't know why that won't hold. Right, Tim? Airtight. Well, both combines are running now. We have this quarter, that quarter, the one on the hill up there, and then about 100 acres or so left over uh, next to this one. So, we are going to be real close to finish up tonight, but I just don't know if we'll get there or not. Believe it or not, I made it until 1230 before I had to get too deep into my lunchbox. Apples and peanut butter. I think the note said this was ice cream. These things are great. Get yourself some of these thermoses. Get ice cream in the field. What else we got in here? Toppings for Chinese Sunday? Might be a little bit exciting to eat on the hilly field, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh yeah. See? Ice cream. It doesn't get any better than ice cream in a combine. I mean it does, but it's a pretty good treat in the combine, that's for sure. Oh, there's a cookie in it even. <laughs> Thank you.
just autopilot things, I guess. Low on battery. here that's all grasshopper damage that waterway was still green and the grasshoppers just uh, ate it all for lunch the way it was all the way up there at first i thought man that virgo drill does not contour the ground very good it does not get the bottom of those waterways like i thought it was and then i started getting closer to those spots and realized oh it did seep down in there really good it just grasshoppers chewed it all off because there was a little more moisture there and it matured later so the grasshoppers moved from the ripe spots of the fields to those draws and cleaned them off so all right here comes a test of the combine's abilities like hard to tell really how steep that is but it's steep we'll see if we power out or if we make it up it Oh yeah, no problem. Just slow down for a gopher hole, of course, on top of a hill. Tell you what, these uh, flake ship, that's what they call these machines, this style of combine from Case H, sure has a lot better drive system than the old 2388s had, or 1688s. I think we were always shifting. Just two more full quarters and then 100 acres left. Get closer. Well, that may have been the last spin switch of the year. And I forgot to video it. I went from there to there. Pouring right in. This bin space may hold the last of what's left in the field. Not sure. Comes the grain cart. We actually did unload a couple times on this field. That'll be fun. I like that number a lot better. Field south of here, that quarter ran five. This field runs 14. I don't know the, what the difference is or why. Kind of crazy. Well, shut down for the night. That's Tim right there. Here we go again. Morning puppies. Not quite as active as Zach's dogs. Well at the combines here and uh, this is the ground that you don't want to drop a wrench in because it might go down a foot and you might not get it back. Or three or four feet. I'll check the woods and get going. Last 100 acres of wheat. Oh, come on, get so dirty during the day. Well, what do you do on the last day of harvest when you know you're gonna finish today? You air up tires, of course. Why? What would make today any different? <laughs> Two more low tires. Again. Well, I thought I was done switching bins, but I have to change bins one more time. That bin's full. We're going to switch to this one, which is a good problem to have if you think about it. So, I'm going to switch bins real quick. Oh, 
that's a good sight. Oh, the wheat stubble after it's all been cut. And the last pass. Really need to get that fixed. Need to get the uh, air dryer put on the air seeder so we don't have sensor issues with fertilizer buildup. We're gonna get that fixed though. Last pass of Durham. Got a little bit of canola left that we left that was green. The other combine's gonna go cut the canola when it's ready. And this one will be done for the year, I think. Clean her up. For those of you that think Northeast Montana is just flat, it most certainly is not. Did anybody lose their grasshoppers? Found them. They're all here. Here he goes. Well, we are moved over here to this canola that will get cut here in a couple of days. We'll let it dry a little more. We pull a load out of a bin that we knew went in wet. Band's been going for, I don't know, four or five days. It seems dry now. Put that back in the bin and uh, should be good. Still a little room in that bin yet. It's an unfortunate part. Wish they were all full. Maybe next year. Where are you gonna stand up? Right well, not tall enough. I'm too short. Well, your name's Shorty. <laughs> well, we're done with harvest for the most part. We'll get that uh, canola finished up here. It's uh, time for a haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Got to have dinner with the family for the first time in a lot of nights. <laughs> Amy's doing her crazy dances inside the window. <laughs> Is your mom crazy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget, farm hard. Pray, hard, pray harder. See you next video. She's doing dishes. Hi, I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. I'm Tony Fast's daughter. Our family has been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ.